Well, I think most of us are familiar with the expression Charcot joint. Basically, it is a neuroarthropathy. The joint has lost the feel of sensations of pain particularly and the patient while he is in his normal physical activities the joint gets eroded. Clinically the patient will come to you with a swelling of the joint and if you feel the patient or hold the joint you can move it in many abnormal directions. Though you are holding the limb and doing the movements, the patient doesn't have pain. And that is how you start suspecting Charcot joint. It can be, and the commonest place where the Charcot joint is found is the ankle. However, it can be found as you pass through this journey, you can find Charcot's in the knee joint, hip joint, elbow, even the spine. The commonest cause in our country is diabetes, diabetic neuropathy, but there are other conditions which also create Charcot joint like syringomyelia, myelomalacia, a defect in the a defect in the neural contents of the spinal cord. So, sir, uh, one of the very common condition is uh, diabetes mellitus. And uh, in diabetes, you have uh, a condition called as neuropathic joints, loss of proprioceptive fibers, the charcoal joint, your words on it, and what are the features that one should look at? See, there are limitations of movements whenever we do the movements of the ankle joint. But in charcoal, something like neuroarthropathy is what this word used. One can find abnormal movements but the patient doesn't have much pain. You can move the move the knee joint for that matter, move the ankle joint into much more adduction, much more abduction, much more entro posterior movements. The movements you are eliciting but the patient does not have pain. And technically also the joint looks deformed. Radiologically there are supposed to be three features in it. One is destruction of the bones, this is vale. displacement of the bone, the third is called debris. So again, if, if you do the comparison with the opposite side, this can be judged. And Charcot is known to occur in peripheral neuropathy associated with diabetes. Also sometimes an injury to the spine, a damage to the neuro damage to the nerves due to congenital malformations and something like syringomyelia. Commonest place for the charcoal to occur is around the ankle but the, there are other joints also where you can get the charcoal like knee joint, rarely hip joint, very rarely elbow and sometimes even in the vertebral column. Thank you.